All right, we're going to talk a little bit about comb beam CAT scan, uh, how amazing this technology is for the upper cervical chiropractic profession. I just want to briefly uh, show you a couple of things. Number one, this is a, um, you're looking down through the top of the head. It's a 9.8 millimeter cut, and of course that's the atlas there. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to start to cut down inferior to the neck. You can see the dens of the axis. And then we're going to keep going inferior. And now you're starting to see, here's the axis spinous. And look at this right here. You can see the left superior articular facet of axis. And you can see that whole thing rotated compared to how the atlas is sitting. And now we're going to cut down further. I'll keep cutting down further. And now there you are, now you have the axis. Look how that spinous process is kicked way to the right. Amazing. So to corroborate this in the Blair work, what we look at are the articulations. So we either have a posterior C2 articulation on the left on third cervical, or it's gone anterior on the right. So when we click over here and we blow this up on this 3D image, you can see the right articulation has gone way and here. Here's the front of the articulation here on axis. Here's the front of the articulation on third cervical. And all these things should line up. I mean, this is obviously a massive misalignment. Please remember that the brain stem passes down through here. The brain stem is responsible for controlling all of your autonomic function. You know, we have a, a profession that wants to think that this is just musculoskeletal problems that spinal misalignments cause, I beg to differ. Um, there's no way. So going back up to the atlas, going back inferior, you're trying to tell me that that axis doesn't impact the spinal cord there. It has to. So Blair Upper Cervical Doctors across the country are interested in how these joints um, are misaligning relative to the ones above. Uh, so what I'm going to do, we're going to do a cut uh, through the articulation here, and we're going to show you exactly how this atlas is misaligned. So what we do is we mark around the lateral margin of the joint of the atlas, and in a minute we will slice through it, and you for yourself will be able to see exactly how the joints of the atlas have misaligned off of the floor of the skull. So that blue thing you see here, again we're looking down through the top of the head, that blue line is a cut uh, straight through the joint, in this case straight through the anterior tubercle. But what we're going to do is we'll start to move this and you'll start to see here I just moved uh, to another screen, but <clears throat> we're going to move to that screen I was just on. We're going to move this blue thing, and what it's doing is it's taking a cut through the joint here, so we're going to be able to visualize here in a second exactly how the atlas joint fits to the skull joint as we transect around like this. So here we go. This is the left margin of the atlas, and this is the condyle. That atlas is massively misaligned. This is the biggest misalignment I've seen since I've been doing uh, this cone beam CAT scan. Just massive misalignment. Here's the edge of the lateral mass. Here's the edge of the atlas. That's the left side. And now what we're going to do just to flip back, we're going to go over and we're going to let out. What we just looked at was the left joint here. You had a massive overlap on the atlas. Now we're going to look around the right hand side here. And you're going to see something interesting happen. So there is the right joint. Now we would think if the left joint, if the atlas has moved to the left, you would have overlap of the atlas here, and you would expect the atlas on the right to underlap off the skull, but it's not what we see there, even or a little over. Now this, I'm not going to discuss exactly why this happens, but the Blair upper cervical three-dimensional model of misalignment explains exactly why you can see an overlap on the left side and why it can be even on the left side or the right side. But it has to do with what we call tracking and sliding. So this person not only has a massive...